Hey guys, Goat Mumbler here. Today I want to show you how to improve an already excellent weapon that's been around for decades, the Browning Buckmark pistol. I've had this particular one since 1994 and it shoots like a laser right out of the box and it still does today. The only gripe I've had with this particular pistol is a sight system, which consists of an adjustable front sight and this fixed ramp sight here on the front main problem is the front sight and it's all black. That's not a big deal if you're shooting outside and you're shooting white targets but if you go indoors where the light is a little less bright it might pose a bit of a problem and it really does for me. Now I use this particular pistol for metal matches you know outdoors and we're shooting white targets but I think a different front sight would just make all the all the world of improvement for me. What I did on this one, I did a little El Cheapo modification on the front sight. I put a little red dot of the brightest paint I could find on the front. And yeah, it helps a little bit. But still not as bright as I'd like it to be. Now I had I first put a white dot there acting as a base coat and then put the red on there. Might have been a little brighter, but still, I was looking for something that would really stand out. Now I've got a set of Dawson Precision fiber optic sights on my Glock 34, and I really like those. I discovered that Dave Dawson also makes a front fiber optic sight for the Buckmark pistol. So for 26 bucks, I jumped on that. And I think it's a great deal, especially for a really nice piece of precision uh, steel sight that he makes. And he has some really nice stuff. The sight comes in a couple different heights. So what you're going to want to do is measure your front sight first. And then go to the website and select the one that's closest to yours. It's probably not going to be exact because they've been building this pistol for so long. But he does have some different options there. Since the sight's not going to be exactly the same height as the one that's on your pistol, you're going to need to sight the pistol back in when you go to the range. It's really not a big deal. It took me about an extra 15 minutes, and, uh, and you'll be good to go. Now, this particular set comes with both red and green fiber optics whichever you prefer. I kind of like the red. And the Dawson Precision website has a good video to show you how to install that fiber optic. Or if you put one color in, you decide to change it, uh, how to change that side out. The kit also comes with some pretty good instructions. And uh, they're self-explanatory. They're easy to do. But watching the video makes it a lot easier and for someone who's never done this before it'll make it more comfortable for you so I'd suggest you go to uh, DawsonPrecision.com check out the website on changing out the fiber optics this is an easy project anybody can do it so let's get started now I've already safety checked this weapon so we don't have to deal with that but you're going to need your allen wrench for the front that's all that holds this side on Now you're going to be reusing this particular screw. Now the next thing I want to do, and I've already done this to save some time, get you some alcohol and a Q-tip. You want to clean these threads out really good. Make sure there's no gun oil or anything up here as well. Get those threads clean. Same thing on this screw. You want to get the alcohol on there. Let that dry real good. Clean it off. Like I said, you're going to reuse this. And here is our new site, Dawson Precision. I've already installed the fiber optic on it. It's really a nice piece. Next thing you're going to do is we're going to get just a dab of Loctite. I'm using the Loctite Blue. Don't know exactly which number it is. 
a little bit on there. Now any of you that have had a browning buckmark for very long knows that you're going to have to use some Loctite. I've had an optic on this pistol and if you don't Loctite this rail up here or the, the new rail they give you, uh, it's going to come loose here pretty quick. This has a self-centering locating pin on top of the barrel so you don't have to worry about getting this back on straight. It's going to be straight when you put it on. As you can see it has a, a hole there for that pin. Fits just like that. Going to put our screw in. This isn't going to take just a crazy amount of pressure. So don't uh, gorilla arm it. Okay. There you are. The other thing is you want to make sure you have the, the right Allen wrench. Fits in there good and snug. Okay. You let this stuff sit up. You know, don't run right out to the range, but let it sit up a little bit and you'll be ready to go. I hope, uh, let me give you a look at this here real quick. This is our new uh, sight. Now what I can tell you is when you go outside with this fiber optic, it's going to be a lot brighter than when you're seeing in here. It, uh, it just soaks up the sun and uh, it gets really bright and I, th I think you'll like it. Well, I hope this video helped you out a little bit for you guys looking for something else to improve your buckmark pistol with. Uh, these are just a lot of fun. Uh, I'll probably never sell this pistol. We've had it, you know, 20 years now. And uh, they still make this pistol today in different variations. So run out and grab you one. Change the side if you like. It's easy to do. You can do it. And uh, just have more fun with it. As always, if you got any questions or comments, I'd love to hear them, and I uh, hope to see you guys at the range.